Welcome to the Firefly Tutors TV podcast, where real teachers from all over the country discuss real solutions for parents and educators alike. Here's your host, Marissa Johnston. Hello, and welcome to The Buzz, brought to you by Firefly Tutors TV, where we talk to educators and parents all across the country on current topics affecting school children today. Diane Cutler Lewis is an educator, entrepreneur, and philanthropist committed to helping students reach their highest potential. She began tutoring a friend's daughter and within one year had 21 students from referrals. The best part was that she loved her students as they poured laughter and joy into her heart. Tutoring quickly became Diane's passion and life purpose. She founded A Plus In Home Tutors in 2003 to promote educational awareness and customized learning for students of all backgrounds and grade levels. The organization has grown to be one of the leading tutoring vendors to many charter schools and community partners throughout California. In 2021, Diane launched Firefly Tutors, presented by A Plus In Home Tutors, to continue to expand tutoring services with the goal of more positively impacting greater numbers of students in all 50 United States. Welcome to the podcast, Diane Lewis. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Marissa. It's my pleasure. Our focus today is transitioning students from elementary school into middle school. We will explore a variety of changes and how these negatively impact a student's academics. We will also discuss solutions for families and educators to best support their learners throughout this transition. Please keep in mind, these are professional opinions based on years of working with tens of thousands of students. Diane, what struggles do students encounter moving into middle school? Students go from a single teacher to learning the expectations of multiple teachers for the first time. They're hustling across campus between classes and they're changing for PE, wearing deodorant and stressing out about their first school dance, all while trying to figure out how to do well academically. Math also also takes a very big leap during this time. It does. I remember in my years of teaching, math always seemed to be that contention point where parents would come back and say, I just don't understand why my student went from doing so well in elementary school to struggling with it in middle school. And then reading too, but reading seems to have more of a gradual change, especially throughout the elementary courses, the elementary grades. Um, And then from there, the teachers are kind of able to bring kids up in the elementary levels, whereas math, you really see that big change right when kids move into middle school. What are some other causes of academic struggle in students who move from elementary school up to middle school? Students develop self-narratives that can be either positive or negative at this stage of life. Most negative self-evaluations stem from fear or the sense of lack. I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty enough, cool enough. The peer pressure of fitting in paralyzes students to recognize and celebrate their unique talents and what makes them special. Middle schoolers experience a growing dependence on peers to find self-worth. They want to make friends, hang out without parents around. They may start to detach from family and begin to develop their independence. Social media plays a major role in peer acceptance. Students yearn for that sense of belonging, so they copy what they see on TikTok or other social media platforms. I know social media has become such a driving force in the youth today and how they view the world and how they want to be viewed by the world. What solutions Mm -hmm. have you found to be effective for those students struggling in middle school? When we see a child's grades plummet, they stop turning in assignments, they're failing tests and not handling personal responsibility, it goes much deeper than behavioral issues. They're not intentionally being bad. They avoid due to fear of failure and they just give up. 
And many students who struggle may have deeply rooted challenges outside of school. As educators, we need to lead with compassion and empathy and reading comprehension may be a real challenge as well. Analytical and interpretive reading skills, like you mentioned, affect all subjects as well as test taking. In math, they may be completely lost, so they just give up. Mm -hmm. But hiring a tutor takes the pressure off of parents. The tutor shows interest in and believes in your student to build that essential bond necessary to create a safe space for your child to open up, ask questions, and learn. When you hire a professional tutor, they can also communicate with your student's teachers and log into the school portal to see assignments and test dates. Not all teachers allow partial credit for late assignments, but it's worth asking because completing assignments builds small victories to celebrate with your student. The tutor may also create a time management schedule to keep your student accountable on a daily basis. And this allows you to be a parent. Just focus on being mom and dad and loving your child. So Diane, what can parents do to prepare their child as much ahead of time for this transition? The transition from elementary to middle school can be an exciting time for students and their families. Students especially look forward to increased independence, making new friends, and the opportunity to participate in new activities such as clubs and sports. And a parent can do a variety of things. Organize a middle school visit prior to the first day of school. Discuss new rules and expectations for your maturing tween. Interact with an older student who may have attended the same middle school to act as a peer or mentor for your child. Provide a safe communication space for students to share their fears or concerns and hire a professional tutor to guide your student toward academic success. Those are all great recommendations, Diane. I especially love the idea of organizing a middle school visit before the first day of school. I know a lot of schools out there, a lot of elementary schools will try to kind of make it a field trip for kids, but when it's a whole group thing, students don't always get the opportunity to ask their questions and have them answered. So I think scheduling a visit with the family and the child would allow the student that opportunity to kind of quell their fears by asking questions and having that chance to express their concerns or, you know, at least get answers to those questions that they have going on in their head. Even see where the bathrooms are, you know, that can be a big deal for students. It really can, you know, and also the peer mentor, them having someone who's close to their same age and being able to ask those types of questions too. Some kids are nervous to ask adults, where's the bathroom? (laughs) So (laughs) even being able to have a peer mentor to ask those types of questions or ask for guidance. What clubs did you join? What teachers were your favorites? Things like that. I think that could really help students as they transition into middle school. Yes, it's such an awkward age anyways, but we want to make it as pain-free and and help students acclimate as easily as possible. I agree. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Diane. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much, Marissa. It's great to talk with you again. If you enjoyed our discussion today, please like Firefly Tutors on all your social media hubs like Facebook and Instagram. Find us on Pinterest where we pin all of our favorite resources for parents and tutors. At Firefly Tutors, we believe every student deserves the opportunity to develop to their highest potential. See you next time on The Buzz.